Assalamualaikum everybody. Welcome to the Startup Crunch. Thank you so much for joining us today. Today with us we have Zishan Heather from Dipit. He's the CEO. Thank you so much for joining us, Zishan. Welcome. Thanks for inviting me. Okay, so Zishan, Dipit basically started in 2015. Yes, the ideation, the concept started off in 2015. Uh, you can say that, and then um, we branched it out. Uh, in in another form to test trial kind of a pilot project and do that of the sources and then we formally launched it around 2018 right. uh, so there was about two three years of working uh, behind the concept the ideation um, the data and all of that because this is the the sources that we we launched uh, from the platform of Dipit was something that were always imported yeah. from in the market or something which the existing player never thought about making it or didn't have the capacity or didn't want to invest in the research and development of it i would say so when you're talking about the other players in this industry so yeah. uh, these products not like uh, locally are made uh well nobody before dipit nobody manufactured them in pakistan for example mm. i'll give you a, an example like tabasco nobody manufactured in pakistan before or chipotle for that matter mm. or, or or a buffalo sauce yeah. all of these were were were, were, imported. were imported out and, and you know it and and when i was studying this concept and working on it it had a major impact on pakistan in one way or the other because you importing it so the dollar the foreign exchange was involved and when dipit came there was already uh, you know the dollar was going up and down and all of these things so uh, so it's kind of a the, the this concept is about making something from pakistan which our consumer also use plus you can you can export it out because uh, there are few things that that you make over here Uh, but are not at the, at the international standard yeah. you know and we and, and we want to make a product and give it to a consumer which is at the same level or same flavor taste profile of a international consumer in international market right right and um, along with dip it you guys also have another venture which is called wing it yeah we do that uh, though um we are not able to focus on it right now but yes we do that and it's it's very close to my heart because where i started off from um and 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 it's still a place where dipit does all its r and d right so a lot of people don't know about wing it but that's still the one of the core thing for dipit because if dipit doesn't have wing it then It's a problem, <laughs> right? So every uh, new product that you guys are coming up with, is yeah, that goes to it. wing it first for right. its trial on the on the on the final product and a consumer feedback, and then it goes. So it, that's the secret route, right? So when you guys uh, launched Wing It, right, that was at Karachi Eat. Yes. And uh, what was the feedback over there? Amazing. We we got a great feedback about the sources about the product is right. Uh, people really liked it. uh and and i think it was also kind of a booster in terms of confidence it gave us the confidence as you know yeah we can go out there and do it because when we used to talk about dipit lot of the the industry pandits and the the people who have been in the industry they had a feedback about it that you know these things might not work in pakistan or they are not meant to be manufactured mm-hmm. here or it's a very difficult thing to do so so it's kind of we were not taking on just a critic but we were taking on also head on our supporters also because it was kind of against the the tide that we yeah. what we were doing hmm. yeah but i want to understand zishan what made you believe in your product so much i mean you have these giants in the industry who yeah. have been around for so long tell you that this isn't going to work yeah and people would look at them as mentors right if you're yeah. entering into the yes. same field you you take them for what they're saying yeah i think it was um, i think what uh, karachi eat helped us out in that confidence where we were lacking and then i was very confident because with my philip moyes career i've traveled a lot hmm. 
and wherever I used to go, I used to see these products, and I used to always ask myself when I came back, when I moved back, you know, that if we make this here, why can't people outside buy it? Because um, we have a lot of chilies in Pakistan. We have a lot of agriculture. Our backbone is agriculture. So why can't we do it over here? And 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 people used to give me like a whole laundry list kind of a challenges that you face. You know, ye nahi hoga, wo nahi hoga, blah blah blah. But my point was always that you know I think we can do it. It's just that somebody needs to try. Somebody needs to be crazy enough to try it out. Hmm. I think I was a crazy one, I guess. <laughs> and you started making these sauces in your own kitchen. Yes, it, we used to make it in our factory. Still today, we have that pan, and we used to make it. Right. It was a five kg pan that we made the first batch in. Right. Yeah. And from there, it moved on to finding a facility. And right now, you have your own factory. Yes, we have our own factory. And initially, you guys were probably supplying it to other restaurants. That's how you expanded Yes, it? we started off by, uh, when we were making it for Winget, we, a uh, few of our friends have their restaurants and all of that. So we started giving them off. Okay. And because they thought, you know, we like it, we buy the imported ones, can we get yours? Hmm. And um, we said, yeah, sure, you can get ours. You know, that's fine. So we started giving them off. Um, and then one of our friend, he opened a retail chain uh, at that particular point of time called Springs. Mm. So he was kind enough to offer us a shelf space. And we, we put the dip it. First shop was, was Springs that we put it up. Right. Because he helped the house and gave us the space. And the results were amazing. And from there, we started off the journey. So when you started... Um like stocking your stuff at Spring It, Uswak, uh, how many like products were you stocking? Six. Okay, and these were like, were they like different flavors? or? Yes, they were different. Uh, for example, they were like a buffalo and a buffalo hot. Right. And a sweet Thai chili and, and there was ketchup and chili garlic, obviously, and there was barbecue. So there were these six. Yeah. And um, like if we look at this industry, probably in 2012, there was this new player, Chatkar, that came in, right? Yeah. But they were dealing with, um, I think it was a very niche market. Yes. Right? And when you look at Dip It, you, you find that the balance of product offering is really right. Because uh, it's not just for the Pakistani market. You guys are, you have a global presence. Yes, Alhamdulillah. And was it something that you had thought about beforehand that, you know, this product is not just going to work in Pakistan, but in other markets around the world? Yes, that was the idea that, that you know, we can always export it uh, outside. And that's what I wanted to do. Uh, because uh, in my past work experience, wherever I have traveled, I've seen them in shops or whatever, restaurants or wherever I've been there. Uh, so I always had this idea that, you know, we can export it and we can support even Pakistan because uh, we have never done that. And, and I still remember uh, later down the year, I think on the, on the second year of Tippet, I went to a food exhibition in, in, in Cairo. It was called Food Africa, I think. Uh, over there, I met a Japanese um, uh, customer uh, and, and he tried our sauces and he said, and I told him that we are from Pakistan. So he was very surprised. He said, that, you know, such a fine product doesn't come out from Pakistan in terms of spices, yes, but in terms of sauces, no. Yeah. So because, and I told him that, you know, we are different, blah, 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 all, all the thing. And today he is one of our biggest customers. So, so yeah, because I think nobody have tried it in, each, in, the, in, in, in last few years or so. Uh, that's why the belief is not there. But now since the uh, dip is there, I'm very sure a lot of competition would come and a lot of the so-called big players will also jump in. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So, when we talk about a global presence, Nishan, obviously there are a lot of uh, compliances that you know yes. one has to keep in mind. So, when you are manufacturing something in Pakistan, how difficult is that? It's, it's challenging, but uh, 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 again, uh, Dipit drives energy from the youth that it has in its team. You know? right. That's one of the core fundamentals that we have in our DNA, that we want a team which is young and energetic because Dipit has that kind of bold, young, energetic feel in itself. The brand itself has that. Uh, and uh, alhamdulillah, we, Dipit has all the certification that it requires uh, in fact, Dipper was the first food manufacturing company to get the 
एफ एस एस सी वर्जन फाइव कैंड ऑफ फूड सेफ्टी क्वालिटी स्टैंडर्ड वी आर सोशली कम्प्लाइंट वी आर फूड सेफ्टी क्वालिटी ऑल ऑफ दीज आर कम्प्लाइंट सो एंड इट टूक अस टाइम टू टू डू सो बट देन अगेन टीम हैज़ द विजन दैट यू नो वी हैव टू डू दिस बिकॉज वी हैव टू एक्सपोर आउट साइड सो नाउ वेन वी टॉक टू वर्ल्ड मार्ट और वी टॉक टू जपैन और वी टॉक टू पैंडम आर इन सऊदी so whatever the certification that they ask we depend already has it when we talk to mcdonalds the certification that they want we already have it right so so it become a lot of easier and that comes with the vision with the mindset that you have mm-hmm. that on what kind of a scale or what kind of a uh, setting you want to work with you know you want to work with a global setting or you just want to be a, a local retail manufacturer yeah. that's kind of a thing so right now dipit is a team of how many people uh well if you include all it's about uh, 100 to 300 people mm-hmm. uh, if you include the whole team uh, but again uh, it's expanding uh and and at the same point of time uh we are now establishing a team outside of pakistan also right to look after the operations which is happening outside of pakistan because we see that's the that's another market that we should work on and and i think dip it has that kind of a product portfolio hmm. which fits out in in the international chain very very comfortably right so jishan let's say if there is um somebody who's listening right now and yeah. they want to they have a product and they want to be able to have a global presence so when you talk about that uh do you find distributors who would be willing to get your product out there like how do you make that happen how do you have a global presence i think it's about uh, consistently uh, following up the distributors and and the people out there uh, i think the one platform that has helped me is linkedin also right. and is participating in food fairs that are helping immensely so one should always do that participate them if it's not about participating as a as a as a as a, as a company even if you participate as an individual and explore and see and learn about those things that that really helps you a lot and and that's what I, even before we started our global operation i used to visit them visit these food fairs and and get my learning and get my things right yeah. so the vision was always there to go global yeah 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 the, it it is always there and i think we are in in, in talks with few chains which which lot of pakistani companies haven't done so i think that would make us proud pakistan proud kind of thing right i do personally use dipit and i've actually switched from other products to dipit and mm-hmm. i think it's an amazing product in terms of quality taste packaging and really the packaging is so nice let's talk a little about that yeah. so when dipit came on the shelves it stood out yeah and was that something that you guys really kept in mind that it has to be yes, unique yes the idea was that you know we have to be different i i can i can share a small a story with you about that that when we wanted to get the glass bottles so in pakistan all the big glass bottle manufacturer they refused us you know they said no we can't do that the volumes are too tiny and you know all the all the sh- all the shipping um so i went to a glass bottle manufacturer based out of hyderabad Okay. whose expertise were in glass bottle uh, like the generation before that now the generation make glass bottles but before that they used to make churiya okay yeah so they were really expert in curving the bottle and everything right and 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 i told them in my pitch was that you know you help us out uh, you help me out in making this glass bottle i really want to make this mm. and one day we will we'll send one bottle outside of pakistan and then they laughed at me and they said sir hum aapke liye bana dete hain par dekhte hain kya hota hai hum aapko bana kar zarur dete hain yeah so they really uh, really helped us out so it was again about searching hmm. investing time in what you want to get not compromising on what's available yeah again the concept was like not we will not compromise compromise on the shape that we want hmm. in fact we'll go out there we'll search and we'll invest time we'll get somebody to do it Right. Yeah. Um is there any advice that you'd like to give to young entrepreneurs out there who are listening to this? Do your homework well. Right. It's kind of a simple advice to them, you know. Uh invest time in doing your homework. 
and getting your numbers sorted out before you do anything that's important uh follow your gut feel but but see the numbers first yeah i i always do that you know even um numbers really help you in in terms of uh making a, a mind you know and and they help you in in thinking big also at the same time yeah Thank you so much for joining us today Zishan. Yes, this was a lovely conversation, a lot to learn and I really hope that business schools in Pakistan actually have dip it as a case study because there's so much to learn from this. True. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Hope you guys enjoyed this week's episode. Like and subscribe and do leave us a comment. We will be back again next week with a new guest.